Hey guys, it's Sarah and today I have a book haul for the month of February. I have a couple books that were sent to me from publishers and then I have some that I just purchased slash ordered and it's not too bad. Okay, this first one was sent to me by Harper. This one is We Love to Entertain by Sarah Strohmeyer and this one comes out on April 25th. Okay, so this one follows a couple. Their names are Holly and Robert and they are interior designers slash renovation people and they are part of this competition app where you go and you renovate a different home and it's like a big competition type of thing so that's how they make their living and they are renovating a Vermont home and you know they're like in the midst of it so shortly after their wedding uh, they end up going missing and there's a bloody trail left behind. So they're in the limelight. So people are noticing that they're gone. <laughs> so this becomes some sort of sensation as well. And the speculation is on uh, the assistant to them who is secretly in love with Robert. And does she, you know, did she try to get rid of Holly in order to make her move on him? And did he figure that out? Like what, like what's happening here? There is also... Um, a cop with his own agenda happening. And then Holly's mother is determined to find out what's going on as well because her daughter has already been through a whole bunch of stuff and now she's getting her name drugged through the mud again and she's not having it. So lots of different things, lots of different things happening in here, but it sounded very interesting. This next one was sent to me by Harper Voyager and it is on my most anticipated releases of this year. So I was very happy to receive a copy of this one. This is The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi. This is by Shannon Chakraborty, who is S.A. Chakraborty, who wrote the David Bad trilogy that I read the first one in January and loved. So definitely want to read more from her, including this one. Now, this one is following a female pirate who has done her time. She's ready to retire. Like she's done. She's done the things. She's over it. She's ready to just chill and relax. However, she ends up getting kind of a hard to pass up offer that is going to set her up for life financially. And is involving something that is going to tug at our heartstrings a little bit. So she is asked to retrieve the kidnapped daughter of somebody, uh, you know, to like basically to save her life. And she's going to get handsomely rewarded for it. So she decides to take this on. And while she's at it, she's going to right some wrongs and make up for some things and do all this stuff on kind of like one last adventure type thing. But this sounds awesome. Look at that huge octopus. Yes, please. <laughs> totally into that right now. And I definitely want to read more from Shannon. So very excited to have this one. So huge thanks to Harper for both this one and for We Love to Entertain. Okay, this next one is an ARC. However, I stole it from work. <laughs> so we will get ARCs every so often at the store for Barnes and Noble. And they're just sent from the publishers and we keep them on a shelf in the break room and you can take them you can leave them, you can take them and read them and bring them back. You can take them and read them and keep them. You can take them and read them and give them to other people. It doesn't matter. So they're just, they're up for grabs. And this one came in and it got put on the shelf and I immediately took it off because Claire Legrand, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. This is a crown of ivy and glass. This is the first book in a new trilogy from Claire and I absolutely love Claire Legrand. She is one of my autobi authors. I have given just about everything five stars. There might've been one or two four stars in there, but everything I've read from her so far has been phenomenal. And I'm very excited for this new series. This is also gonna be on my most anticipated list. It doesn't come out until May, but it's on my list. And I've already begged for an arc of this from the publishers and heard nothing. And then this showed up at work and I grabbed it. <laughs> so um, I will probably end up buying a hard copy of this when it does come out, but I grabbed it so I could read it if I really wanted to. And then I'll just take this one back to work if I end up getting a finished copy. We'll see. But this is a new fantasy series from her. Okay, so in this one, we are following a young girl named Gemma Ashburn. She is a lady of the court. And she is part of a family who has a whole bunch of things going on. Her family's kind of falling apart. Um... And she is the only one in her family who does not possess any magical powers. In fact, her body basically fights it off like it's poison. So anytime she tries to 
um, take on some magic or do something that could give her magical powers, her body's like, no, absolutely not. And it actually makes her physically ill. And she is struggling with her family right now because there's a lot going on and she basically gets ignored a lot or kind of seen as invalid because she doesn't have any magical powers. So she's struggling with loneliness on that side as well. She ends up crossing paths with a man named Talon. He is in a similar situation where his family is falling apart, but for very different reasons. And he is really trying to save his family. And there's only really one way to do that. And he could use Gemma's help with that task. And so they team up and try to figure out how they can save both of their families and just kind of right a whole bunch of wrongs here. So um, this is the first book in a trilogy. Like I said, it's the Middle Miss trilogy. And I am so excited to read this. I have four books here that I purchased myself. This first one is Six Crimson Cranes. This is by Elizabeth Lim. I got this from Book Depository because this cover is stunning. <laughs> like I can't even talk about how beautiful this cover is. And this one was recommended in our retreat by just somebody who thought that this would be a great recommendation for everybody. And it really caught my eye. I had heard about this book before. And I was definitely interested because of this cover and I had heard good things about it too. So when it was recommended, I was like, okay, there's my sign. I just need to go ahead and probably grab it. So I did order it from Book Depository and I am going to be reading this in April with Angela, who was also at our retreat and she was interested in this one too. So we made a plan to buddy read this one together. So I actually will be reading this one um, next month, but very excited to read it and see what's going on. But this is a fantasy book and it is following a girl who is dealing with a very difficult mother figure in her life uh, to the point where there it's very dangerous to be in this woman's presence. And I think she's trying to overthrow her. However, um, this woman turns her six brothers into crimson cranes <laughs> and uh, she needs to save her brothers and she's she has to go on all these adventures to try to do that so this is the first book in a duology and yeah so we'll see how it goes but I have heard very very good things about this book so I'm excited to get into it wayward by Amelia Hart okay <laughs> this one this was also recommended in our retreat and that's the first time I'd heard about it. And as I was listening to Lee describe it, I was like, oh man, I want to read this book. And then I saw the cover and I went, oh man, I'm going to buy this book because this cover is so gorgeous. And I had plans to get it. I was going to get it. Comes out March 7th. And I was working one night and my one of our managers brought out a cart for us to start putting books on the floor and this was on there and I was like, hold on, <laughs> that doesn't come out until March. But there are certain books that we cannot put out until release date and that's the publisher's decision. And then there are certain books that can go out ahead of time. Like this came out, this comes out March 7th, but I bought it on the 26th of February because we were able to put it out on the floor. Um, so there's a whole system behind that with like booksellers and like, you know, all that kind of stuff. But I was able to get it early. I was very happy about that because I bought it the second it was put out. And then two days later, it's a book of the month option. Really? <laughs> I could have waited one more day <laughs> and I would have seen it would have been my book of the month choice, but that's okay. Actually, this month's choices for book of the month were really great. I ended up getting like easily picking another one and then getting an add on as well. So not a big deal, but really that's fine. Um, okay. What is this about? What's it about Sarah? Okay. This one covers three different timelines and I need to read them out to you. So I don't mess them up. One is in 2019. One is in 1619 and one is in 1942. And it is following three women who are part of this family. And there's some witch trial things going on here. There's some World War II things going on here. Um, but I have heard nothing but rave reviews about this so far from multiple people. So it was kind of a no brainer for me to pick it up. And again, this cover, you guys, it's like one of my favorite things ever. So 
Yep, got it. Okay, and one that I picked up on Pango because it was one that I have been eyeing. I recently read a book by this author and absolutely loved it and I want to read more from her and this was her other one. <laughs> so I got Down Comes the Night. This is by Allison Saft. And I had this like on my Pango wish list, kind of watching it <laughs> and the price went was like kept going down and I was like, ooh. And so when it went down to $3, I was like, uh, add to cart, buy, purchase, thank you. So I got this for very, very cheap. I paid more in shipping than I did for the book, but that's okay. So this follows a young girl named Ren, and she has done messed up <laughs> real bad in her job uh, to the point where she gets dismissed, and she is separated from her best friend, who is also a girl that she is in love with. Now, she really needs to redeem herself, and she gets an invitation to go to this old manor that is occupied by a very reclusive person. And so she is going there to kind of help out and hopefully redeem herself. And there's going to be lots of magic involved. I'm sure there's going to be a complicated love story. And I just really, really enjoyed her writing that I have read before. So I definitely wanted to read more from her. So when I saw this on there, I went ahead and got it. Last but not least, <sighs> you guys, I cannot stop looking at this book. <laughs> Trust of the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson. This is the first book in his secret projects that he did as a Kickstarter that I backed immediately. I didn't even think about it. You guys, this is the exclusive hardcover edition. It's leather bound. It is embossed. It is golden foiled. It is so stunningly beautiful. This book, you guys, I'm dying. Okay. So beautiful end papers there. There are full color illustrations in here as well. Like beautiful. Let me find an actual, there are different parts and like those are the section dividers. Like you guys, it is so like, I can't even, I can't even, it's so beautiful. It is so, it is so stunning. I can't. Okay. I have heard such good things about this book as well. <laughs> so I'm very excited to read this at some point. I don't know the synopsis. I don't want to get into it. I don't, I just want to pick this up. I want to enjoy it. This is something that is so special. And I'm so happy that I joined in on this Kickstarter when it happened and that I'm going to be getting these beautiful editions. These are going to be sold to the public as well under Tor, I believe is going to be publishing them, but they're not going to be like this. They're going to be, I think, paperback. Um, so not exactly like this. And I don't think the cover is the same either, but um, <sighs> these are so special, you guys. I'm going to treasure these for always and ever. And yep, I have it. It's here. I'll read it at some point, but <sighs> I love it. Okay. Those are all the books I hauled in the month of February. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, I'll have a March haul. <laughs> I already have some books on order because I got some pretty good Amazon gift cards. So I treated myself a little bit, um, for things that I know I want to read within like a good time frame. So we'll see how that goes, but I decided to treat myself a little bit for March. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these books, let me know your thoughts and I will see you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.